Well welcome to another cheese tutorial. This time it's farmhouse cheddar and I've added in some peppercorns as well. So first of all you can see the ingredient list there. And then we set up all our equipment. We've made sure it was sterilized. All the metal objects I sterilized for 15 minutes in, uh, in the pot and uh, we boiled it up. And there's the pot there ready to add the milk. And I see I've got it on a double boiler. And here is my new curd cutter uh, to make it easy to cut the horizontal uh, parts of the curd. Makes it nice and easy. All right, so we add the milk. So I'm using eight litres of milk there. And we turn the heat on there. And we're heating that up to 90 degrees Fahrenheit or 33 degrees Celsius. So at this stage we can add the first ingredient. Now because I'm using homogenized milk I need to add calcium chloride. Now I didn't put this in the ingredient list because if you're using normal pasteurized um, farm bought milk then you can simply uh, skip this stage and just uh, heat the milk up as I, as I said. So I stir that in well and keep on heating the milk. So watch the thermometer all the time because it can get away from you. Now the milk's at the right temperature and we add in the starter culture. So we stir that in well. So I stir for about a minute, minute and a half. So now we let that rest, we pop the lid back on and it rests for 45 minutes and that ripens the milk. So now we can add the, uh, the pepper water and I'll talk about the pepper water in a second. Uh, basically you can see that little pot there on the uh, top left hand corner all I did was boil up um, uh, a tablespoon of peppercorns, red peppercorns with half a cup of water for 15 minutes and strained it off and then the strained water we add in next to add a bit of flavour to the milk so there we go, Just stir that all the way through and now we can add the rennet whether it be liquid rennet or a, a tablet and both dissolved or at, both with a quarter of a cup of water added to it. That water's non-chlorinated so it can be tap water, uh, rain water or uh, filtered spring water. So stir that very well but no more than a minute because it'll start to, uh, it'll start to set. So that's enough stirring. All right, now that's enough stirring. So pop the lid on, keep it warm still, so that stays at uh, the 33 degrees Celsius the whole time. So we wait another 45 minutes, see if it's set. And what we do now is we're going to check for a what's known as a clean break. There we go, the milk splits under my finger. The finger's nice and clean. 
and now we cut the curds. Now this is where we use the curd cutter that my friend Dave from uh, Manitoba, Canada sent me. So here we go, it's the first test. And all I'm doing is uh, swinging that round 360 degrees and that's cutting the curd horizontally. Now I'll still have to cut the curd vertically with a knife but it's an easy job. This makes it so easy. There we go, pull it straight out. Give it a tap and then wash it another tap later on. So here we are, we're cutting the curd vertically now and we're making it into one centimetre cubes or half inch cubes. So cutting the curd takes a little while, but that's okay. So I've got the pot back on top of the double boiler again. And now let's see if the curd cutter worked. Oh, look at those beautiful cubes. Fantastic. And now we're going to heat the milk up to 38 degrees Celsius uh, or 100 degrees Fahrenheit. And while we're doing that, we do that over a period of 30 minutes. So. We're heating it up as we're stirring to make sure that the curds don't mat. So we're all stirred. You can see that the curds, the curd cubes are a lot smaller now that I've been stirring gently and that the whey is now yellow. So uh, that's a good indication that you've done everything right. So we're going to let that rest now so that the curds all sink to the bottom. So as you can see the whey is quite yellow and there's a little bit of curd floating on top but not much. And now we're going to pour it or drain it out. There's not many curds coming out until we can see a big curd mass right at the bottom. Makes it so much easier to pour out. So all we're doing is uh, pouring that into a, a cheesecloth lined colander. I'm hoping not to get it everywhere. And we just get the rest out with our hands. So now we're going to tie the uh, cheesecloth up into a bag and we're going to hang that on a pole for an hour. Some cheesemakers use a little hook but uh, I find just this method is quite simple. So bring it over to our pole on a couple of chairs. I find this quite easy in the kitchen and just thread the pole through the bag we've got the knot coming undone so I'll have to retie that again ah oh, there we go so now we thread the pole through the bag and we hang it up and you can probably hear all of the um, the way droning out Make sure I always put another double knot at the top. Last thing you want is your bag of curds falling into the into the draining pot and making a mess everywhere. So 
So we'll let that drain for a hour, a whole 60 minutes. And you can see there that uh, there's hardly any whey coming out at all. A couple of drips here and there. So we take the uh, bag of curds over to the sink. And we're going to open that up now. Make sure the hands are nice and clean. You can't really use that, reuse that way because it's got that pepper water in it. So I don't think it'll taste very nice in a cake or anything. So we undo our bag and we've got a nice big curd mass. Quite tight, quite firm. So what we have to do now is we need to mill the cheese. And milling simply means breaking it up into smaller bits so that we can mix um, things into it. So we're going to break it up into walnut size or thumb size pieces and that takes a little time so I've sped that up. So there we go, we've finished that. Now what we're going to do is salt the curds and we're going to add the peppercorns to it. So there's the uh, peppercorns that were cooked for 15 minutes in the half a cup of water. And then we're adding our two tablespoons of salt. Now we mix that up well. So now that's mixed all the way through and you distributed the peppercorns all the way through as well. And we're going to fill up the mould next. So just uh, line it with the cheesecloth that you use to drain the cheese with. There's nothing wrong with it. There's no beasties on it. This takes a little while, you're just packing it in, making sure that the peppercorns are distributed evenly through the cheese as well. It, it does not too hard. So you're packing it in with your fist. Not too hard, but you know, just enough that you're levelling it out. You've got to make room for all of the cheese, all of the curds in there. So now we're going to press the cheese. That's first pressing. So we put the edge of the cheese cloth over the top of the of the the cheese, and then put the follower on top. The follower is just a little plastic thing, the same size as the the basket that you put it into. Now I use a 50-pound spring to help me gauge what the pressure is. So fully closed, it means it's at 50 pounds or 22 kilos. So pop that in. Now the first pressing is, uh, is only light. You're only trying to form the cheese so you can pull it out and turn it over later. So it's at uh, uh, 10 pounds or about 4.5 kilos, 5 kilos uh, for 10 minutes. So you just leave that. Now 
And you come back in 10 minutes. Take it out. Turn it over. Now it's a little bit fiddly. So I'll sped this part up. Now, you've got to be very careful because it's only just holding together. So we turn it over, pop it back in the mould again. This time we're going to press it a little bit harder. So 20 pounds of pressure, so on my little spring, or 9 kilos. Just uh, down about halfway, what looks like halfway anyway. So we'll leave that for another 10 minutes. So we take that out, turn it over again. And the final pressing. So it's quite a good lump. It's, it's uh, not too difficult to handle now. Quite firm. So just put the edge over again and then put the follower on top and this time we're going to press it a lot heavier weight this time we're going to go 22 kilos or close the spring right up 50 pounds for 12 hours so you know you're doing this last thing at night and the next step will happen in the morning So that 50 pound spring is closing all the way up. And there's not a lot of whey coming out, but uh, this makes the cheese form uh, quite hard. So there we go, we should take it out of the press now. This is the next day. Quite a firm mass. So make sure that I've sprayed my hands with vinegar again, that's just normal white vinegar. But uh, make sure there's no foreign moulds on my hand. I don't want to get contaminating the cheese any. We pop that out of the cheesecloth, put that to one side. And it's actually got a little bit of a jagged edge on top, so what we're going to do now is we're going to trim that off so uh, it's easier to wax the cheese later on. So we've just got a really sharp knife, we're just cutting that little bit off the, that edge off uh, out of the mould. Just makes a good shape for the cheese and as I said it assists you when you need to wax it later on. There we go and you can see the peppercorns are nicely distributed throughout. Now we're going to dry the cheese and we pop it on a wooden board. I put it on top of a sushi mat as well. This helps it drain. And basically what we're trying to do is form a rind on it now. Uh, now to keep the little beasties away, and we have um, insects that may fly around. So I put a little bit of uh, a fine weave muslin over the top, and that helps it, uh, just protects it while it's drying. Now it can dry out here from between two to sometimes even seven days, depends on how hot it is. Uh, the, the hotter it is, the quicker it is. So you want it until it has a nice yellow rind on it, as you can see there. Uh, once the yellow rind is all over and it's damp, to t uh, sorry, it's a dr very dry to touch, then uh, we can then wax the cheese. So I leave it for about seven days. 
and there's the cheese waxed and this is the end of the video so we age it for about two months thanks for checking out my farmhouse cheddar tutorial <laughs>